Hey folks, this is Gutsy here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one's going to be on Gutsy's Way Night Stalker. Unlike my other ones, this one is very, very situational. Um, and I'll just explain exactly why that's the case. So if we look at the Radiant Draft here and the Dire Draft, um, both are kind of lacking a bit of late game here. But, I mean, Radiant has Marana Weaver Bristol as damage semi-carry cores. Mind you, he's a carry. Whereas the Dire, when you think of, you know, a late hard game carry, it's kind of just DK and even if, right? Night Stalker doesn't really come to mind, neither does Zeus. And the reason for that being is most people on Night Stalker, they go Ags, which requires a good portion of their farm time early in mid game in order to get. And it helps secure your game approaching the late game, but it's usually only good if you have late game heroes, which in this case we don't. So going Ags is almost like asking for a loss because then you're telling the DK he has to rely on everything in terms of damage output and that's just not fair when we're fighting all these cores. So Gutsy's Way Night Stalker is basically carry Night Stalker. Not as in you're in the safe lane farming, but you're a core role, whichever lane it is, off lane, mid, or safe lane, and you're building damage. That's the main build. I'd say the only core item you really need to worry about is... Midas, because it helps you get those items, especially if you're like offline Night Stalker, which I was this game. But other than that, you're just building damage, situational damage based on the game's terms. So like Bristleback, you know, you go Silver Edge. Uh, if you need a Defusal for Ethereal States, then you go Defusal, whatever. In this game, I went Blade Mail because I was on the front lines tanking a lot of damage. And then I went Abyss. I really think if you're to pick one item to be kind of the carry gutsy night stalker uh iconic item it would be the abyss blade because it really makes you an anti-carry like ursa and provides you with that presence where the enemies can't really ignore you you're not just there for vision you're there providing a lot more than just a crippling fear and some extra vision so and i mean night stalker naturally just screws over enemies with his vision game because he decreases vision you know you get more at night kind of thing so it's not entirely like you're not playing the vision kind of game regardless uh this is my talent tree for night stalker i go 12 armor at level 25 basically i ignore the support ones which is movement speed lower cooldown and higher cast range which i guess you would kind of normally go on night stalker if you wanted to be more support oriented this build I would do over Ags only if I was playing mid lane. Even if I did have carries on my team because it just, it really, it really makes you feel like a core. Uh, but otherwise I pretty much always prioritize Ags. Unless if it's of course a draft exception which would be this one. So I'm just going to highlight a fight that's coming up here. We actually do lose this game but we nearly win it. And we actually probably had a really good chance of winning it. We just kind of screwed up. Uh, did two mistakes and that was kind of the end of it so but either way uh, point still proves that this why this build is effective because we're now 37 minutes in the game which is officially late game and I'm just gonna out damage their buildings with the DK forcing them to come back because I'm no longer something they could just ignore that blade mill wasn't the greatest but either way I'm just going in, DK's, everyone's doing it. We probably should be focusing the throne at this point, but... Just big hits. Very tanky. You know, still providing the good old Night Stalker aspects, why people pick and draft the hero. They had a lot of buybacks here. Definitely salvaged this game for them. As you can see, I'm really, really low HP here. But I level up that plus 12 armor, which big time helps. And look at my HP. I nearly kill him at like nothing by myself with a bit of this. So there you go, Gutsy Night Stalker. It, it really provides an impact. KDR wise, this game. At 11 kills, 4's deaths, and I was a dual offlane with Dazzle. 
Uh, laning phase wasn't that great, but, you know, later on I just, I was getting triple kills and stuff, and it really, really emphasizes your presence in a game. So consider it. I'll see you next time.